In this video, I am going to show you how you can chroma key a photograph using paint.net. Now, what is chroma key? As you can see here from Wikipedia, chroma key is a special effect post-production technique for compositing or layering two images or video streams together based on color hues. So the idea is to remove the background of one photo and superimpose it with another one. As you can see here in the top photo, a man is standing in front of a green screen. So sometimes people call chroma keying green screening. And then through uh, photo editing, af after the photo is taken, you would take the green out of the picture and then you would superimpose the man in front of another photo, as you can see here. So the most widely or the most popular screen colors to use are green screens and blue screens. And as you can see here from this article, um, they're the most commonly used because they differ most distinctly in hue from most human skin colors. So when you take the green or the blue out, it affects the skin color the least. So let's get started. I have already downloaded Paint.net, which is a free application you can get off of the internet. I've also gone to their site and downloaded their Chroma Key DLL, which is necessary for this project. As you can see, when you start Paint.net, it has kind of a Photoshop look and feel. The first thing we're going to do, oh, let me say this, that this video is in two parts. Uh, the first part, I'm going to go ahead and bring up a photograph, and we're going to chroma key out the background and then save it as a PNG file. And then on the second video, I will show you how you actually superimpose that photo with a background photo. All right, so let's get started. We go to File, and you could go to Open and pick a photo out. I'm going to go ahead and open Recent and pick this photo. Then you go to Effects, Photo, Chroma Key, and you click on that, and it's going to take um, a best guess at how to get rid of the background. Now the background's going to look checkered like this. So I picked this photo for a reason. The way it was taken, the green had reflected off of her shirt and her skin. So when we take the green color out, it's also affected. Um, so she's going to look semi-transparent when you superimpose her in front of another photo. Um, you can play with the adjustments here and see if you can get rid of some of those, um, some of that transparency. And in the process, you can see that it brought back a little bit of the green screen, which is fine. This allows me to demonstrate a second tool in Paint.net. So when you're happy, and it looks like we pretty much solved it there, you click on OK. And then we need to come over here to the toolbar and click on the eraser. Now, whenever you click on the toolbar tool along this top row here, are the options for that. And right now the brush or the eraser is very small. So I'm actually going to pick something bigger that looks much better, so 90. And I'm just going to erase whatever came back just a little bit. It wasn't too bad. All right, now let's go ahead and save it. And the reason why I like to save it at this point, you can, at at this point, you can actually just bring in the background photo, but I like saving it because this way you can use this photo over and over again with different backgrounds. So we go up to File and then Save. And you say OK. Oh, I've already saved this before. All right, file, Save As. Sorry about that. All right, I'm going to call it Girl Holding something. And then you have to pick save as type and I will pick PNG and the reason for that is P 
PNG allows the background to stay transparent. If you pick something like JPEG, the background actually turns, it defaults to white, and then you don't have a transparent background any longer. So always pick PNG and then uh, click on Save. And then I'll click on OK. All right, and that's it.